Hi Aquarius, Aquarius Sun Moon Rising Venus, welcome to your energy reading, Aquarius. Let's find out what is happening in your energy at this point, Aquarius Sun Moon Rising Venus. I just finished doing a personal reading for someone right now. If you want to get a personal reading, the information is on my uh, description box. I click the link to Patreon. So get it through Patreon if you want a personal reading. Aquarius, I usually take 72 hours. Sometimes it can be less because I get a couple of I get a lot of requests to do personal readings. Holy Spirit, my angels, my guides, let's find out what is happening in Aquarius's energy. Holy Spirit, my angels, my guides. Let's find out what is happening in Aquarius's energy. Okay, we are already starting with the Two of Swords, Aquarius. The way it just jumped out very quickly. What is happening in Aquarius's energy? Holy Spirit, my angels, my guides. Nine of Swords. The Queen of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune. Five of Swords, Strength, Four of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, and then we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Empress as your overarching energy, Aquarius. Aquarius, yeah, you could be feeling very, you could have been feeling blindsided in a situation with this two of swords. I just, I just get that energy of you feeling blindsided, not being able to see, not, not being able to see things clearly in this two of swords energy here. And it causes a lot of anxiety for you. This could have been, this could be past energy or your current energy where you're feeling very anxious and stressed out because there's something that you're not able to see clearly. I'm also getting that you are going to reach a stalemate where you're not able to make a decision with regards to something here with this two of swords there's like some instability mentally here where you're not really you're not feeling very stable mentally here i'm also i'm just picking up a lot of anxiety stress depression fear sleepless nights aquarius this could have something to do with like a love relationship with this queen of cups energy here so you could have given somebody a lot of love like you was very loving and giving in a situation you gave so much of yourself to a person here with this queen of cups you are very accepting of someone's energy here and i'm also picking up that you usually would not be in this energy of the queen of cups but for this person that you were dealing with here you gave a lot of your love aquarius you gave a lot you gave them a cup of love you gave a lot of emotions in this connection aquarius and something changed here with this queen with this uh, wheel of fortune I'm also picking up that you've, if you've been going through this energy of stress and anxiety, that is slowly coming to an end with this Wheel of Fortune. Coming justice, Aquarius, you're going, to be, you're going to be rewarded by the universe for all the pain that you have been through because you didn't deserve it. If you're showing up in this Queen of Cups energy, it means that you had pure intentions in situations. So you could have been giving, very giving, very beautiful energy, you know, very beautiful energy, pure intentions, no hidden motives. And somebody could have just like decided to betray you. You could have been dealing with someone that is argumentative with this five of swords or a narcissistic kind of energy. Someone that likes to win at all costs with this five of swords energy here. And I'm picking up that someone could have like cost. It's like you're dealing with someone that could have lied to you, blindsided you. And this person is like they will laugh with their friends. You know, it's like they will just, they, you know, the five of swords energy is very, I don't like that energy because it's very, 
oh, it's it just it's just horrible energy so someone will just be like it's like they laugh to themselves it's like they would enjoy putting you through this um trauma putting you through this stress like putting a blindfold over your eyes You are very strong, Aquarius. So the strength energy next to this four of swords. You are very strong. The strength could be speaking about holding back and also inner strength. So you are, I'm picking up inner strength energy here. You could also be dealing with Leo energy here. So you're in this energy of recovery with this four of swords. Recovering from something that was very painful, Aquarius. And um, it's like you are taming your... It's like you are learning to love yourself again and you are... You're strengthening yourself again after a very painful betrayal, Aquarius. That leaves you in this energy where you can't even sleep at night. Sleepless nights. You could be having nightmares here. Someone could just be having nightmares here. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles. But Aquarius, like I did say that I'm picking up some divine intervention in your energy. With the Wheel of Fortune and the Seven of Pentacles, there is something that is changing in your material world, Aquarius. So if you have invested in something financially or this, you're waiting for some money, you are going to get it all, Aquarius. You're going to be very happy. You will have it all. I'm just getting that you are getting karmic justice for all the pain that you have been through. Someone could have deliberately put you in a position where you lost everything. You could have lost money. And someone could have just done that deliberately. And we have the Ace of Pentacles underneath your deck. There's a big blessing coming for you, coming towards you, Aquarius very beautiful big blessing and you deserve it because there's somebody that you were very loving and giving towards and you gave so much of yourself you were so pure you had the purest of intentions and this person just left you very heartbroken they lied to you they left you very stressed out and depressed and you could also just be depressed about money you could be depressed about love and feel like you're not finding love you're giving so much of yourself to situations but you're not finding it and i feel like you are getting to a place whereby things are changing I don't even feel like I see it here in your reading with this Wheel of Fortune on top of the Seven of Pentacles. So there's something that you've been working on, Aquarius, relentlessly working on. Even if you haven't been working on something, Aquarius, and you feel like maybe your stability has been shaken a bit, maybe in your, in your material world, there is something coming for you in the Seven of Pentacles energy, Aquarius. Some beautiful investments and, you know, it might take a little bit of time. But there's something that is changing here. You could also be getting an inheritance, a divine inheritance. I'm just getting a divine inheritance. So that someone could also just be receiving miracle money. We did get this uh, Ace of Pentacles energy underneath here. With this Empress energy, Aquarius, like, you could be feeling very creative. You could be feeling very creative. And I'm also picking up someone that is learning to love themselves. So they, knowing your worth, you know how much and what you are worth and how, what you deserve. And you... By so doing, you're able to attract the best of the best in everything, in material and in love. So there's something that is changing in your energy here. You're receiving a lot of good karma. And then we have the two of cups underneath here. So there could be some, you could be meeting your soulmate, Aquarius. You could be meeting your soulmate, twin flame. Some beautiful, loving partnership is coming towards you. What is this two of swords for Aquarius? What is for it, my angels, my guides, my ancestors? What is this two of swords energy for Aquarius? And then we have the Knight of Swords. You could have been dealing with someone that is quite flighty here, Aquarius. You know, the Knight of Swords gets bored very easily. So they can talk today and say something tomorrow. They don't say anything. And with this Knight of Swords that is on top of this Two of Swords, I'm picking up that someone, someone like here, Aquarius, you could be dealing with someone that is in a very, it's like, this person is very indecisive. And this person is wanting, to, they have a lot to say to you with this Knight of Swords. It's like they want to rush in and say something to you. But they're still indecisive with this two of swords. They're just silent. And they have this burning desire to come towards you. You see with this devil energy underneath here. You could be dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. We have the devil and justice energy here. This person is constantly thinking about you, obsessing over you. And they are wanting to rush in and say something to you. But it's like there's something that is causing anxiety for this person. It's like when they want to say something to you, they get anxious. Okay, let's clarify this nine of swords for Aquarius. So let's pray with my angels, my guides, my ancestors. What is this nine of swords for Aquarius?
And then we have the seven of pentacles, Aquarius. You could be very feeling very anxious about money. You could have invested in something and you are worried that it might not grow. You, it might not turn out the way that you planned with the seven of pentacles here. I'm also getting that, you know, there's something that is not growing too. It's like it's taking time. Something is just taking time here. You've planted seeds in something here and you feel like it's taking time to manifest. And this could be causing a lot of anxiety here. You could have given your money or something to someone here, invested in somebody, and you didn't get what you were supposed to get. And that is causing a lot of anxiety in your energy. What is this Queen of Cups for Aquarius? So let's pray to my angels, my guides. And then we have the Three of Cups here, Aquarius. The Three of Cups speaks of celebration, but it can also be speaking of third party situations. Just an energy of collaboration. Let's clarify what, this, what that uh, Three of Cups is speaking about. Someone could have also put you in a third party situation here, Aquarius. And then we have the Empress here, Aquarius. Like, so, like with this Empress energy here, Aquarius, like you did see that Empress energy. I feel like this is your energy. And someone is wanting to come towards you. Like there's a union. The Three of Cups also speaking of like a, a reunion, a union here. There's someone that is wanting to come towards you. They see you in this Empress energy. It's like this person... This, some, this could have been someone that you loved before. Or this person could, could be putting you in third-party situations. Um, so a mother could be involved. You could be dealing with someone that has like a baby's mom here. And that, that person could be involved in this connection. What is that wheel of fortune for Aquarius? Holy Spirit, my angels, my guides. And then we have the king of swords, the two of wands, and the temperance, Aquarius. There's something that is changing. Eh? You need to be patient. There's something beautiful coming towards you, Aquarius. The king of swords is very logical. This could be your energy. The king of swords is an Aquarius. You're in an S sign. This Aquarius Libra Gemini energy here, Aquarius. So like there's a lot of intelligence. You're very logical. And you, I, I'm guessing that you could have, I'm also getting that you could have cut off certain situations here. You could be planning to change where you stay, move to another place here with this two of wands next to this king of swords here, Aquarius. But with this uh, temperance energy, it's like you're doing things in moderation. Temperance is about doing things in moderation. Patience, yeah. You might be needing to be patient with someone that you're dealing with. Because this person is coming towards you. They are planning. They are thinking about coming towards you here. Take it as it resonates. I'm reading for multiple people. So obviously, I'm going to get multiple messages. What is this five of swords for Aquarius? So let's read my angels, my guides, my ancestors. What is this five of swords for Aquarius? We have the six of wands, Aquarius. I'm picking up someone that just likes att attention. You were dealing with someone that likes a lot of attention, hey? And this person could have done something to hurt you. It's like they didn't care. They just wanted to win. Someone just wanted to win at all costs. Just wanted to win at all costs. So they said something to you, did something to you, hurt your feelings just so they can feel like they've won. No one wins in the Five of Swords. No one wins in the Five of Swords. So that is just a lie they are telling themselves. What is the strength energy for Aquarius? And then we have the Six of Swords, Aquarius. Someone could also be wanting to move to Kama Waters here. Resolve an issue here. Resolution. The Knight of Wands, you could be dealing with a player here, in and out energy. The Knight of Wands is nice if you just want to have a good time, you know. I'm also picking, the Knight of Wands is also the determination, very, very confident. But in this energy that I'm picking up here, I'm just picking up that you are dealing with someone that is a player in this Knight of Wands energy, in and out. And this person is wanting to now come in and run towards you. This person could also be wanting to just get physical and they miss your body and all those things. What is this Four of Swords for Aquarius? They could find you very attractive here. And I also have this Empress energy here. So this could be someone that wants to get physical here. We have the hangman. Someone is in recovery. This could be you, Aquarius. You could also be dealing with Pisces energy with this hangman. You know, recovery, surrender. Someone is in this energy of surrender, taking it easy here so they can recover. So this could be you, Aquarius. So you're just taking it easy. You're seeing things from a different perspective. You're wanting to recover from a lot of things that you have been through here. 
What is the sign of souls? What is the sign of pentacles for Aquarius, Holy Spirit, my angels, my guides? And then we have the star, your energy, Aquarius, on top of the seven of pentacles. And we have the wheel of fortune showing up underneath the deck again here. You are getting, your wishes are being fulfilled, you know, Aquarius, when it comes to your material life. Money, something is going to look good here. Money is looking good, Aquarius. Very beautiful energy towards you, hey? I'm just getting like you're getting blessed. It's like you're getting blessed for something. You deserve it because you've been through so much here. Let's clarify. Let's um, get more. From your reading, beautiful Aquarius. Let's get more. Let's find out what this new thing that is coming towards you is. Let's find out what is happening. Let's go to Patreon Aquarius and find out more. What is coming towards Aquarius in love, in money? What are the challenges in Aquarius's energy right now and how she can overcome it or he can overcome it? Let's do that on Patreon. $5 a month, you get all the extended readings that I do here on YouTube. Just what, what, just you pay once the $5. Thank you. I love your Aquarius. Let's go to Patreon. Let's find out what is happening.